All right, Shalom to the elect of Yah Sha'Allah. Starting with the 144,000 elect men, 12,000 from each tribe. All right. Before we get started with this lesson, let's give the much due all phrases, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai Bahashim Rachach Hakodas, Koholoyim La, Abanawa, Alahaya Nawa, Yahweh Bahashim. Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Racha Kodas, all phrases to our Father, our God, Yahweh, in the name, Yahweh Shai, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Double honors to the apostles and elders and bishops of Great Millstone, and much due respect to you, sincere Akim, that's laboring in the works, and Shalom to you, believers, to the Akim Wa Akwat, which will be you brothers, and few of my sincere sisters who do scrub to this truth. I provide this that this lesson is edifying and plain upon the tables. All right, I'm your brother Malkaya, out here in Pasadena, Texas, 77504. Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. It's going to be a rise up you women at ease lesson, okay? Straight to the point. I'm going to play this uh, little video and get these scriptures there. Um, all right. Now an update to a terrifying robbery that happened near Bel Air. Houston police say they've arrested the man that you see on this security video holding a mother at gunpoint as she was getting her child out of the car. This happened in January on Ariel Street right near Beech Nut and Hillcroft. Police say Colossian Jones approached the mother armed with a gun and demanded her belongings. He's due in court tomorrow. All right, I'm play that again. Now an update to a terrifying robbery that happened near Bel Air. Houston police say they've arrested the man that you see on this security video holding a mother at gunpoint as she was getting her child out of the car. This happened in January on Ariel Street right near Beech Nut and Hillcroft. Police say Colossian Jones approached the mother armed with a gun and demanded her belongings. He's due in court tomorrow. <clears throat> Alright, so you saw there, right? Let's get these scriptures now. Um, let's see. Hmm. Let's start with this. The book of Isaiah, chapter 32, verses 9 to 10 in the KJV. Rise up, ye women that are at ease. Right? That's wanton. You're playing the lot of a, of a whore. Having uh, many casual dating relationships. Just having sex from left to right with whoever, anything, right? Not being self-controlled, okay? Uh, you're arrogant. You're complacent, prideful, haughty. You're at ease, secure, right? You is like women, so-called blacks, Hispanics, Latinos, they don't like Indian women, and is like foreign women. That's in the spirit, you know, rise up. Hear my voice, which are the prophets, of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, that has a testimony of Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, the spirit of prophecy. Okay? Hear my voice, ye careless daughters. Majority of our women are careless. Okay? They lack self discipline. Okay? They want time. All right? It says, Give ear unto my speech. All right? Take heed to these teachings, to these doctrines, and take them seriously. Okay? Because guess what? In verse 10, many days and years shall ye be troubled, ye careless women, for the venture shall fail, the gathering shall not come. So the time will come, and it's already happening to a lot of women here in America, and it's going to increase, all right? A lot more women are going to experience many days to a year, quite some time, experiencing troubles. Sorrows, tribulation, hard times, evil times. The vince is going to fail. Like all the goodies that the government is able to give you, like any form of financial assistance, for an example, government assistance, uh, child support, Section 8 housing assistance, um, and etc. Right? It's all going to fail. It's going to be a famine out here. We ain't going to be able to eat. Whenever you want to eat, okay? Use all these men who you like to use to get a free meal out of, okay? All the goodies that you women like, that you take pleasure in, 
that you use to pleasure your to your, your lust is all going to fail. All right, that gathering shall not come. So the time will come in Jacob's trouble when all hell break loose. A lot of you is like women are going to experience many troubles, tribulations. Society is going to collapse. The money ain't going to mean nothing. All right, you ain't going to do nothing with the current dollars. Now on one, that's going to be out the window. Police officers are not going to want to be police officers anymore when all hell break loose. They're only going to be worried about protecting their own, their children, their family. Okay, they're not going to care about you anymore. No more 911, no more police officers showing up to your aid, firefighters showing up to your aid, first responders showing up to your aid. No one's going to show up to your aid anymore. Um, being at a gather abroad with your friends to have a girl's night out, a girl's trip. Girls want to have fun. We already know what we already know what what comes with that type of lifestyle. OK, all of that's about to end. OK, all of that's about to end. OK, the current fashions of this world that you women, majority of women love to partake in is about to completely be taken away. And it's going to be a new America, a America where it is a, a lawless society and is literally a man's world now. And if you don't have a man, you're pretty much through. If you don't have a man of the Lord, you're through. You're done. You're finished. You're finito. All right. I'm going to read again, verse 9 to 10. Rise up, ye women that are at ease. Hear my voice, ye careless daughters. Give ear unto my, on my speech. Take these warnings, these teachings, these lessons seriously. Okay. Many days and years shall ye be troubled, ye careless women. For the venture shall fail, the gathering shall not come. All right. And we, we saw in that video, for an example, you're going to see things like that, but even worse. You're going to be seeing women getting robbed in broad daylight, getting jumped by multiple men in broad daylight, getting ravished in broad daylight by multiple men. If you don't know what ravish means, it means raped, right? Violently, too. Being in Toronto down to admire the streets. All right, let's get that right quick. Uh, in the book of Mike, uh, do I got that? All right, let me get that right quick. Um, let me get that right quick. The book of Mike, uh, uh, my bad. Chapter 7, verse 10 in the KJV. And it reads, Then she that is my enemy shall see it. Well, you careless daughters, you Israelites, that's careless. You don't believe in this doctrine. You're hard-headed. You're wanton. You, you refuse to repent. All right? I'm going to see that you're an enemy unto Yahweh Bashmiel Washai. And he's going to express that anger towards you, women, in many ways. Then she that is my enemy shall see it, and shame shall cover her was said unto me. Where is the Lord thy power? Right, you do have a lot of Israelite women that be scoffing and mocking at the men of the Lord, which is a, which is them really mocking at the doctrine, mocking at Yahweh Bashmiel Shai, giving the prophets a hard time. Okay, talking shit, scoffing and mocking. My eyes shall behold her. Now shall she be trodden down as the mire the streets. A lot of Israelite women. About to be trodden down as admire the streets. What you saw in that video is just something little. Women being robbed at gunpoint, pistol whipped, jumped, battered, being hit with bats, sticks, and poles, and all and shovels, and all kinds of weapons, being ravished, being violently raped, be trodden down as admire the streets by these uh these Gurkha troops, these troops. From other nations that's going to invade America and, you know, they're going to have their way with, with, with you women. Whether it's for sexual pleasure or it's for just to be violent towards you because they just have an evil eye towards you. Okay. Uh, Two thirds of our own nation, those uh, Ray Rays and Pookies that you that you is like women are so googly eyes for, like these thugs and shit. They're going to have an evil eye for you. Um, Even the men, the men of the Lord. When they're risen with that, uh, with the godlike power, those spiritual powers, they're gonna, they're also gonna be those spirits of vengeance, that's gonna appease the wrath 
of Yahweh Bashmi al that made them to execute judgment upon a lot of women too. Okay. Um, these are many ways of how Yahweh Bashmi al is going to express his anger towards your careless daughters, trotting you down the mire the streets. Okay. Um, by putting the spirit of vengeance on on people and animals and you know his his creations, his creatures. All right. Let's see. Um you already got that, we got that. Um so when all hell break loose, right? Uh let's see. Let's get this right quick. Um hmm. Let's get Isaiah 13 and 12 right quick. The book of Isaiah chapter 13 verse 12 in the KJV. I will make a man, which is the Israelite man, in particular the men of the Lord. All right, the elect men. I will make a man more precious than fine gold. Even a man than the golden wedge of old fear. Right, make a make... The man, the Lord, more precious, right? Precious. Um, Yechaya, if I'm not mistaken, that's how you pronounce it. Strong's H3365. Yaker. Yaker. All right. So you get right here, right? To esteem, be prized, be valuable, be precious, be costly, be a phrase. So right now, what the world deems to be a high valuable man, right? Post apparently is a man that makes a lot of money. A man that makes a certain amount of money, who has a career here. Okay. Um they they deem these men, like these celebrities, these men, right, to be precious, to be valuable, right? To be the prize. But real soon there's gonna be the elect men. Okay, because the, the elect men are going to be a hiding place, a refuge for for a particular uh, remnant of women that's going to be that's, that's eventually that eventually that's going to be saved. Okay, but for your two thirds like women, you're, you're through. Um, so when you're going to esteem, right? It's going to esteem right quick. All right. It says respect and admiration, typically for a person who's currently not respected and admired right now by majority of our people, especially our women, our servants, our women, right? The elect men are not esteemed right now. The men of the Lord are not respected right now. But scriptures goes into how um, thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power. When these men are finally risen with that power, spiritual powers, then people are gonna, uh, you know, even our own people are gonna uh, want to respect and admire the men of the Lord because they can see that the Lord, Yahweh Bashmi Shah, is dealing with these men. He's not dealing with every Israelite. He's only dealing with a remnant, a small number. He's dealing with the underdogs, all right? Not your celebrities of this world, the poor of this world, but rich in faith. Okay, these are the high vibe women. These men are more precious than fine gold. All right, we'll go back right quick. All right, so Isaiah thirteen and twelve again, KJV. I will make a man, right, a man of the Lord, right, the elect men, the so called the so called blacks, Hispanics, Latinos, Native American Indian men, and you even have Israelite foreigner men that's part of the elect too. That's going to have spiritual powers too. All right. I will make a man more precious than fine gold. Even a man than the golden wedge of Ophir. More precious than gold. And why these men are going to be more precious than fine gold. Why these men are going to be priced, uh, uh, highly valued, precious, esteemed. Right. Because here for an example. The book of Isaiah chapter 32 verse 2 in the KJV. And a man shall be as a hiding place from the wind. This same man, the Israelite man, the elect, that's going to be made more precious than fine gold because what? He's receiving mercy from Yahweh Shai, and not every 
or any Israelite man is going to receive uh, mercy, right, from Yahweh Hashem Yahushua when the hell break loose, and the man shall be as a hiding place from the wind, right? The elect man is going to be refuge, um, uh, uh, like a safe zone from chaos for you women, for you Israelite women, from Jacob's trouble, from the hour of temptation, the karagma, the MOTB. The famine, the pestilences, all these plagues that's going to be sent upon the world um, to be remembered uh, in the day of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai's wrath to, to remember mercy right, upon you by having you become a wife or one of the wives of one of his sons and a covert from the tempest as rivers of water in a dry place as a shadow of a great rock in a weary land. Right, and these this particular men, right, are going to have to be your husband, and in order for you, it's like going to become his wife. He becomes your husband through sex. That's how you take on his name, right? When you go to uh, and a man, right, and a man, and a man shall be as a hiding place, right? When you go to the outline of biblical usage, you have what husband. So a husband is going to be a hiding place from the wind, from the chaos. So you women are going to need a man. You Israelite women are going to need an Israelite man, right? If you're still going to have that spirit of believing that you don't need a husband, all right? And those times that, hey, by la calle and die, right? For the streets and die, man, okay? Die in your pridefulness, okay? We'll see your wife in the kingdom of heaven when you're reincarnated, resting upon reproach. Um, and a man shall be as a hiding place, right? A husband. And a man shall be as a hiding place from the wind, from the chaos, from all hell breaking loose. And a cover from the tempest as rivers of water in dry place. As a shadow of a great rock in the weary land. That's why these men are going to be more precious than fine gold. Because not... Yeah, not any man that you see out that that you women are going to be seeing out there are going to be good men. Not any or not any man that that you may come across of is going to be able to provide this refuge for you. Right? Let's go to hiding place right quick. So I can get that right quick. That's a hiding place, right? Let's see, hiding place. All right, you see down here, right? The Strong's definition. It says a refuge, a refuge. Let's look this up in the common dictionary. And it goes into for the noun, a condition of being safe or sheltered from pursuit, danger, or trouble. All right, let's get some common dictionaries. Yeah, shelter, protection, safety, security, Oslam, sanctuary, Preservation Safekeeping Alright so the only way you women You is like women Is going to be able to be protected When all hell break loose Is by um, Having a husband Right A man shall be as a hiding place A husband shall be as a shelter A refuge A protection Safety, security Safekeeping from all hell breaking loose. Okay. A man of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, the elect. Okay. Not your your Ray Rays and Pookies and these, you know, celebrities and shit that you women are googly eyes for, like Drake and Bad Bunny and the Island Boys and Little Uzi Vert and all these you know, bug out niggas and shit, man. Um, the elect men, the man of the Lord. Um, not Andrew Tate, fresh and fit. And whatever other guys that may seem wise in this world, but really the wisdom of this world is foolishness unto Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. All right, these men are not gonna be able to protect you. Let's get um, hmm. let's get this right quick. The book of uh, Second Ezra, chapter sixteen, verse thirty-three and thirty-four, and the King James version of Apocrypha. The virgin shall mourn, having no bridegrooms. The woman shall mourn having no husbands. 
their daughters shall mourn having no helpers and the wars shall their bridegrooms be destroyed and their husbands shall perish of famine of hunger starvation so this is this is the plague widowhood mentioned in second edges chapter 15 verse 49 it's paraphrasing i would send plagues upon thee widowhood poverty famine pestilence and sore to destroy and to, to destroy your homes with destruction and death just paraphrasing the scripture widowhood a lot of Israelite women out here in America are going to be without a head without a husband to be a refuge for them because a lot of women a lot of Israelite women are not going to want to repent right now during the during this grace this grace period place of repentance it's going to be too late for them by then okay all right um you got a lot of women that believe that 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 they don't need a husband especially a man of the lord to lead them a man of, of understanding okay but real soon they're going to be mourning not having a man not having a husband not having to help when all hell breaking these men okay because a lot of men are going to die out here soon okay a large portion of the men of yasha allah are going to be decimated we're going to get that we're, um you know in world war three the drives you know, chaos and war that's going on out here, the plagues killing them, where there's famine, the pestilence, being trying to out the streets, just being killed by Yahweh Bashmi Oshar. Okay. Um Isaiah 4 and 1 in the KJV, and in that day, right, Jacob's trouble, all hell breaking loose out here in America. Alright. And wherever else, uh, because uh, wherever else, you know, Israel is scattered at. Okay, but you have a lot of Israelites that's here that's going to die. Okay. Um, in that day, you know, Jacob's trouble, for an example, seven women, a complete number of Israelite women, whichever amount of women that Yahweh, White House Shai, deems fit for for each brother. Okay. A complete number, multiple. And in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man. Right. This one man, the Israelite man. That's going to be as a hiding place, a refuge. That's going to be more precious than fine gold. Okay? That's going to be esteemed, respected, admired for once. Okay? Um, these women are going to be saying, it says, uh, saying, we will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach. Remember in Micah 7.10, it's paraphrasing how it says how uh the whole uh she uh, she that is my enemy shall see it and shame shall cover her was said unto me where is the lord thy powers is paraphrasing right there's going to be a heavy spirit of reproach resting upon a lot of Israelite women right let's get that very quick in the bible um, isaiah um one. Let's get that uh, reproach in the Bible. Let's see. Here we go. Strong's H twenty-seven eighty-one. Herpa. Herpa. All right. So it says reproach, scorn. Now section B. Right. It reads reproach resting upon condition of shame, disgrace. So a lot of it is like women when all hell break loose and they realize that the only fans account, your career that you put so much time and effort to, your doctrines, your degrees, you know, uh you know the, the that that feminist movement doctrine, um, you know, the doctrines that America has fed you. You know, the, the things that you thought was the way, was the movement, it was the right way. When when everything is taken away from you, everything, everything, you're going to realize that you have nothing to live for because you're going to soon realize that um, you not being a mother bearing a man's seed, right? You won't, you don't have nothing to live for now, right? 
Because that's your purpose, is to serve the Israelite man and bear his seed. You know, partake in, uh, uh, partake in him building a nation. Okay? Alright? But in order for you to realize that everything has to be taken away from you, a great humbling has to come, and it will come. Okay? Um, so let's read it again. And, and in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man, saying, We will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach, our, uh, um, you know, the shame and disgrace. Okay? A condition resting upon shame and disgrace. So uh, let's get this in the expanded Bible version. I think it's the expanded Bible. It goes into being uh, decimated. Okay. So mind you, right? Remember in um, Second Ezra chapter uh, sixteen, um, verse thirty-three and thirty-four, how like the bridegrooms going to mourn, not having no bridegroom. Uh, the virgins shall mourn, having no bridegrooms, and how the women are going to mourn, having no husbands, and how uh, that uh, that that the husband shall die in war. The, the, this paraphrase: the bridegroom shall die in war, and uh, the husband uh, perish in famine. This paraphrasing. All right. Uh, Isaiah 4 and 1 expanded Bible at that time and that day right Jacob's trouble all hell breaking loose World War 3 drive world upon war just pure chaos out here seven women will grab one man right a multiple Israelite women going to grab hold of one of the elect men it says war will have decimated the no population so war is going to decimate is going to kill Right, destroy a large uh, uh, The war is going to decimate A large percentage of the male population of Yahshua Allah Leaving the elect men To be like the only men left Last one standing More person than fine gold Because you women no longer got options anymore Your options are all taken away Okay It says kill, destroy, or remove a large percentage of a large percentage or part of okay drastically reduce the strength or effectiveness of something you see so so it's gonna so a lot of men a lot of Israelite men are gonna die all right and, and that's gonna leave the elect men being more person and fine gold too because there's not any other men available okay and the men carry the seed so Right, so you women are going to be afraid, thinking that you know, just because of men, you know, thinking that like you know, humanity is about to be extinct, extinct, about to be wiped out, and you're going to see this man, and you're going to want to bear these men's seed. You want to become one of their wives, okay? Um, because you're going to realize that you don't got nothing to live for now, okay? Your purpose was to serve a man, but you will learn eventually. You you'll learn, you know, the hard way eventually. Uh, at that time and that day seven women will grab one man war would have decimated the male population okay the reason why I said the Israelite man because the men of other nation here doesn't fucking matter you know men of other nation here in America you're gonna die you're gonna fucking die and perish okay um they say and say we will eat our own bread and make wear our own clothes things a husband will normally provide but please marry us let us be called by thy name right that's how a woman gets married all right to sex that's how she takes on her husband's last name her husband's name to sex to become a wife right so she can finally have a husband right a man that she's about to hide in place a husband that's going to be a refuge a, a safe place okay a shelter all right. Uh, it says, please take away our shame, right? Disgrace from having no husband or children. Okay. There's another version I like. It says, make us pregnant. <laughs> Eve going to be desperate. You want to about being thirsty? Oh, uh, Eve going to be desperate. <laughs> Eve going to be willing to try to throw it back on a brother. All right. Wittingly, the brother ain't going to, you brothers ain't got to do no, 
no no flirting, try to spit game. You don't got to do nothing. She's going to be trying to throw it back on you at, as often as possible to get impregnant to become your wives, man. Okay. Let me see that thing, the message version, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see. Yeah, the message version. It says that will be the day when seven women will gang up on one man. Right. Women are going to be desperate out here so for, for a man of the law. It says, uh. That will be the day when seven women will gang up on one man saying, We'll take care of ourselves, get our own food and clothes, and just give us a child, make us pregnant. Remember, 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 15, if I'm not mistaken, um, that she shall be saved in childbearing if she continues in the faith. Just, par just paraphrasing, right? Make us pregnant. So we'll have something to live for. All right. A great humbling is coming to you as late woman. And for you to finally get humble, you have to witness great judgment before your eyes. Okay. So I will rest this out. The lesson was edifying. Playing upon the tables. Hopefully you learned something from today's lesson. Do the spinning pot. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh 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 Let's close out by giving the much do all phrases, honor, and glory to. Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Racha Kodas, Koloim La, Abanawa, Alahaya Nawa, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Racha Kodas, double honors to the apostles and elders and bishops of great millstone. And much due respect to you, sincere Alkin, that's laboring and works. Shalom to you believers, to the Alkin Wa Aqua, which will be your brothers and few of my sincere sisters who do subscribe to this truth. DTA, Abad, Babal. Soon, Kwame Yashala. Now an update to a terrifying robbery that happened near Bel Air. Houston police say they've arrested the man that you see on this security video holding a mother at gunpoint as she was getting her child out of the car. This happened in January on Ariel Street right near Beechnut and Hillcroft. Police say Colossian Jones approached the mother armed with a gun and demanded her belongings. He's due in court tomorrow.